uh, your office and your agency is doing a lot for Family Violence Awareness Month. Uh, tell us about some of the activities are, that are going on and some of the educational um, themes that you want to pass on to the community and how, how is it being received by the people? Well, we've, we've started the month um, on October 3rd, I believe, uh, the very beginning with the proclamation signed by Governor Calvo uh, to kick off the uh, Domestic Violence, Family Violence Awareness Month. And that's, that's done every year. It's done nationally by the president. So it's not just a, a local themed uh, event, it's, it's a national themed event. And the purpose is to, is to get the awareness out there, get uh, education out there to, to people uh, and, and potential victims and victims. Has to, you know, the education will change some of some attitudes. It wasn't long ago when police officers, when they heard a uh, domestic disturbance, there wasn't um, a desire to to go to it because it's something that's happening in the family. But that's been that's that's changed now with with uh, our laws now because of because of awareness. Now what we have to do is is change the attitude of of uh, a lot of the victims. Victims they tend to, especially family violence victims, as you know, are family violence victims are a little different. You know, there's a dependency, there's a codependency between the batterer and the victim. There's a familial, there are kids involved, there's money, there's support. Those issues really complicate the, 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 the investigation and prosecution of these cases. So we need to, to change the, some of the attitudes of the victims because they, need to, they do need to break out of that, that thought process that I, I need I need uh, him in my life or her in my life uh, because of support and, and so forth. That's, that's one of the things that we're doing. We have a lot of outreach. We have outreach from, and it's not just our office. It's, it's GPD. They have a victim, uh, victim unit that's involved out there. I have my victim witness and due to services that goes out there. We've, doing, we've done outreach into, into various uh, communities, community centers, um, done waves waves when we were wearing the purple, the purple ribbons, uh, one of the colors that is used for domestic violence. Now, one of the things that, you know, discussions that we've had with you, you know, when we've had you on KUN, uh, and you've always made it a point to emphasize how hard your office is working at not only making sure that victims of um, certain types of crimes and of family violence know that there are services available to them and providing for them, but then also, you know, cracking down on the crimes themselves and trying to, you know, uh, provide support for the people that are being wronged and then also, you know, trying to eliminate the cause of the problem right. uh, initially and everything. Describe a little bit how both of those efforts are. Well, you know, in the past it's, it's been kind of fractured. We have victims not knowing where to go, so they go to GPD and then uh, they need to be referred somewhere else, so they, they may have to go to their, their victim unit, they may have to come to our unit. Uh, they need to find out what's happening in, in whatever proceedings that occur. So the victims, they they uh, they tend to they're in, in a way shuffled to different areas of the island, sometimes miles apart, different times and so forth. But uh, over the last couple of days, uh, that's changed. We've got the new family justice center that um, was kicked the the opening was uh, was kicked off a couple of days ago with a ribbon cutting ceremony where we try to get as many, right now it's starting small, it's putting, getting together the, the um, organizations, agencies that are immediately involved in the prosecution, investigation of uh, family violence. So we have the, the FJC at the Dededo Precinct. There will be a, a victim witness, a Zuda service person from my office in there. Of course, GPD will be, GPD will be there. Alley Shelter will be there, and also the Immaculate Heart of uh, Mary uh, Church is also involved in that. So what it does, it, it, it gives, and I, I hate using it, it sounds trivial, a uh, sort of one-stop um, shopping um, for the victim, but what it, it does, it, it puts them in, in, in a situation where they don't have to go all over the place. It makes it easier for the victims to, to become empowered. They, they have um, uh, the, G, the police officers there to to talk about the case, and then you know we'll be there too, and then the uh, counselors, if their counselor is available, they'll be there. So the victim won't necessarily have to be telling the story over and over and over and over again. And the victims, by their nature, are already dealing with the very traumatic yes experience yes. of having been the victim of a crime anyway, right. and then they've got to deal with logistics. So right, and then when you have right, and when you have Ali Shelter there, we're immediately able to to get them hooked up with you know some place to stay. Uh, I was. 
at the, the ribbon cutting ceremony, uh, the officers there related a story. Uh, the day before, it was it was uh, kind of a soft opening where where a, a victim came in to report, um, but they had the children there. But so they immediately put, took the, took them over to the FJC area, and uh, first thing that happened was the child walked into the interview interview room and there were toys in there. So the you know, immediately lit up and was wow, you know, toys and was playing with that. So, so that kept them, uh, kept them busy, and then they were able to do the work with, with the victim. So, you know, immediately there's there's a um, uh, a change at least with this victim. So what we're trying to do is get the word out. Uh, unfortunately, because of this, you know, because the mind is changing, the case cases may increase because many times victims don't want to come out, and we'll we'll never see these cases. But with um, more awareness of the FJC and and uh, the services, then maybe more more victims will come out, and and there'll be less less victimization. It started.